Hi guys, my name is Anne Greis. I hope you're doing well and I welcome you to my new video. Android 13 is the newest version of the Android operating system. It just got released and it brings a tons of new features. One of these features is the photo picker. While you previously had to use the system file browser in order to pick um, images from the storage, you can now make use of the photo picker. The photo picker is not only very convenient to use for the user, but also for developers. Where we previously had to request various permissions and so on, we can now simply use a simple contract that comes with the Android X library and allows us to implement the process of taking an image very easily. But how does that feature look like exactly? And what are the capabilities? That is exactly what we're going to look at today. Before we start, let's take a quick look at the Android X activity library. We're here at version 1.6.0 alpha 03, and we can see that the new feature got added. It's the activity result contracts pick visual media and also the pick multiple visual media contract. As you remember, or maybe remember from my last video where we already talked about the activity result API, that is exactly another contract that facilitates the implementation of this photo picker. At the end, we only need this contract and can easily launch it with some parameters and then quickly get our reference to the respected media files. As you can see, the library is still under development. In order to use this function, we therefore need to introduce a not official library version. And I know some of you may are not allowed to do that. If you want to know how to implement a custom implementation, make sure to check out my Medium article on this topic you can find the link down below in the description. For this article, however, we will stick to use the RC01. In our app level build Gradle file, make sure to have the compiled SDK version set to 33rd and also the target SDK version. That allows you to use the Android 13 API. Also, in order to use the Android X activity library that we just talked about, make sure to have the following dependency included. So before we start, let's have a quick look at what we're going to achieve. We have a simple screen here. We can click pick photo. And as you can see, the photo picker opens up. I'm on the Android 13 device here. And if we switch now to an Android 10 device and we execute the same code, we can see not the photo picker opens up because on this device, no photo picker is available but the ordinary file picker from the system. Regardless of which of these two devices I select the photo, the photo uh, will be shown in a preview image. And I can also execute the same code on my Android 13 device. And also here, the photo gets shown. Before we dive into the actual part for the photo picker, Let's have a real quick overview of the Compose API if you want to follow the tutorial and implement it by yourself. We have a top level scaffold that has a top app bar, also a box as a parent, and inside that box is just a simple column. And inside the column, we have either an image preview or the image itself if it's available. Then we have just a simple button here that links to the select photo function. And this function will be used in a second to actually trigger the photo picker. As I already told you in the introduction, we can use the activity result contracts that get provided by the Android X activity library. And that really simplifies the whole process of using this component. To implement it, we use the activity result API. And that's why first thing we need to do is to create an instance of an activity result launcher. So start by um, declaring a single or black single photo contract. Then we use the register for activity result. Now we need the respective contract as an input. And we can find under the activity result contracts, pick visual media, create a new instant, use a Lambda function. And as we can see, we receive a URI and we call it image URI. 
and now we can make use of it. I already prepared a function that we will take a look at in a second in the view model. And therefore, uh, we use the imagery, check if it's null or not. If it's not null, we can use the set imagery function from the example view model. Now, in order to launch the contract, we implement the select photo function and we call launch at this contract. And as an input, we will use the pick visual media request. And as an input, we can use the activity result contract dot pick visual media image only. And what that means is we start the photo picker, but only allowed to select images because out of the box, the photo picker not only allows images, but also to pick videos. And of course, you could also declare that by the image and video. Or if you just want to select videos, you can use the video only. So now that we have the activity result part, let's quickly take a look at the set image URI function. We start from the top. We have a simple data class, um, a view state class that just holds an image bitmap, which is the equivalent of a bitmap for Compose UI that's held in a mutable state flow and is exposed as an immutable state flow. And now the function itself that we just saw, a set image UI. We use an Android view model at the top level. This view model takes the application class as an input. If you declare the um, view model with application and initialize it the ordinary way by using the by view models delegate, this application object will, or reference will automatically be injected. And that allows us finally to use this get application function that comes from the Android view model. We then only need to tell the class which application type is it's, uh, the ordinary application no special one you could also use your custom application and then we just access the application context and because the application is running anyways we don't have the danger of um yeah leaking our context or something else like it would maybe the case with an application reference and now we can access the content resolver and by the content resolver, we can finally um, read out the image, or to be more specific, we can decode the underlying image to a bitmap that is referenced by the URI we got from the photo picker, or if it's an unsupported device from the system file picker. Note that we use the dispatchers IO here to offload the reading out and decoding of the input stream from the main thread. Another thing to mention here is that by using the photo picker or respective the action open document intent that is used for devices that don't support the photo picker, we can use the content resolver to call this take persistent by URI permission that will allow persistent access to the URI. In this case, it's not really important, but think about the use case where you receive this URI and you want to persist it in your data storage. If the device restarts, you will lose the permission to read from that URI and suddenly you will just see a blank page or get an exception. And you want to avoid that by taking this persistent URI permission and you're then safe to use this URI. Afterward, we use the content resolver once again to open the input stream. Note that we use this use function, which will automatically handle the input stream. That means after usage, it will close the stream directly. Then we access the static function decode stream to finally decode our input stream to a bitmap. We then use the update function of our mutable state flow to get the current state of our view state and then just copy it and yeah, update the image bitmap. Note that we don't use the bitmap directly, but convert it to an image bitmap. As I just mentioned, we need that specific object to be used in the Compose UI. Now back at our picture by gallery screen, we use the collect as state with lifecycle function that 
comes with the Android X lifecycle library. You will need at least version 2.6.0 alpha 01. Also make sure to include it if you wanna safely collect the state. That means that the collection gets handled according to the lifecycle. I also made a video about the topic. Make sure to check it out. I will link it at the top. Then we have the view state and just pass the image bitmap to our actual screen. Okay, so now we took a look at how we can pick a single image, but you may ask yourself how to do the same with multiple images. Don't worry, I will quickly show you how you can do that because there's also a respective contract for that. Just use the contract um, or select multiple photo contract post contract uh, once again the re register for activity results and the activity result contract and then we don't pick again the pick visual media but the pick multiple visual media contract and what we see here is not a single URI but a, yeah a, it's a list of URIs as you can see so by using that, we yeah, can uh, iterate over that list and also process it just like we did before. Um, I'm sure you have your own usages for that and we'll skip that for now, but it's just the same as before. If you have multiple preview images, for example, you could, for example, iterate over the set image UV function or something like that. Another thing to mention at the multiple uh, visual media contract is that this one has an input parameter. And the initial parameter of that contract is the get max items, which gets set by the system. Um, if you want to allow only, for example, three images, just type in three and you're good to go. Note that on Android devices below Android 11 and also on devices that doesn't support the SDK extension 2 version, this function will be ignored. So the user will be allowed to select many more images. If you ask yourself how the whole evaluation is executed to determine if the photo picker can be used or not, Let's have a quick look at the implementation of the pick visual media contract. And as you can see, we have an explicit check here if the version of the current running device is at least Theramis 2, which is Android 13 or higher, or if it's Android 11 and the extension version of that OS is at least version 2. Only between these device versions the photo picker will be available, else it will return false. Let's have a look at the create intent part. You can see that the function we just looked at is used to determine if the respective intent, the action pick images intent um, should be called. That is the one that triggers the photo picker, else the intent action open document, which we already talked about, will be used and that is respectively file picker from this system. You can see that only if we specify a specific media type, the actual media that is allowed to get selected will be set. Also, if you don't set a specific type, a wildcard will be set and the extra mime times will be set to images and also videos. And that said, that's already it for this video. I hope you had some takeaways. Also make sure to check out the article, which is very detailed about this topic. I will link it down below in the description. There you also have all the code snippets to follow along. So you don't just need to type all the things. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you already use the photo picker and what are the use cases you could think of to use it. Also, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, activate the notification bell, and I hope to see you soon.